Hello friends, in this lesson I'm going to tell you how one can create smart forms using information templates in Fusion Self-Service Procurement Cloud. So let's go to Fusion instance and I will there quickly explain you the concept of smart forms and information templates and once you understand the concept then we'll proceed ahead to create this. But before that I will first tell you the procedure to do that. So here I have written step-by-step -step steps that you must follow. You have got to first define information template descriptive flex field and deploy it. And within that descriptive flex field, you've got to create a context and name it appropriately because that's the context that is going to appear under the information template. And within that context, you've got to define one or more than one segments that you wish to display as a part of your um, smart form to capture additional information from the business users once you have done that then you create an information template and you attach that predefined descriptive flex field context within that information template then you save it and come out of that and then you create a smart form and attach this previously created information template there and then save the details and then you attach the smart form to a content zone if the content zone is not predefined you've got to predefine the content zone and this is where the smart form would be able to be viewed in the acquisition work which so the setups are done and then you go to the front end and view the smart form and requisition home page having said that now let's go to fusion cloud instance okay now we are in oracle fusion cloud instance now before i proceed further i'm going to show you the release and version of the instance that we are on so i'm going to go here and look at about this application and you see we are uh, on release 13 version 21d of oracle fusion erp cloud applications okay now as i said the first step is you have to define the descriptive flex field for information templates okay now let's go and let me show you the navigation of the descriptive flex field first so that user doesn't have uh, setup and maintenance so I've taken another user which has got uh, access to setup and maintenance so click on setup and maintenance and then you navigate from the offering you navigate to procurement and choose procurement offering and under procurement you look for something called as descriptive flex field and hit the enter button and here you look for descriptive flex field for self-service procurement okay over here can you see there is this title manage information template descriptive flex field so this is where you've got to click and then you have to click on this descriptive flex field to define the context and associated segments now the process of defining the context and associated segment is something i have shown in my another video it takes a while to do that so i'm going to skip that part but i have shown you the navigation then once you have defined the information template descriptive flex field then you've got to save it and deploy the descriptive flex field once you have deployed it then the next step is you've got to define the information template so let's go to the other user to see how one can uh, one can create a new information template and attach this information template descriptive flex field there all right so here i am in the other user and what you have to do is navigate to from hamburger menu you've got to navigate to the catalogs and you've got to also remember that if you are unable to view catalog then you should assign a role called as category administrator or procurement category manager procurement category administrator or procurement category manager either of this role you should assign and then you would be able to view the catalogs item over here in this menu so you click on catalogs and uh, And then from here you go on the right hand side in the task menu and you look for manage information templates this is the first step okay 
and uh, over here as you could see some information templates are already defined for example information template by the name of business card information let me show you first the concept and then I will go and create a new information template so you see this is the definition of information template you attach a predefined attribute list where is it coming from basically it is coming from the information template descriptive flexible segments that have been predefined as an example I have to predefined a uh, information template descriptive flex field segment as applicant information so which I will attach in our demo so and then um, you what happens is once you attach this uh, information template along with its associated descriptive flex field to a smart form and deploy that smart form then when the you user leverage the smart form and submits it the requisition will be created and information captured via the information template will be made as an attachment to the requisition and once the requisition is submitted for approval and gets approved and a purchase order is created by sourcing the requisition the PO will also be able to see the attachment from requisition so basically the attachment containing additional details coming from information templates attached to requisition will be moving from a requisition to the PO so that is helpful to the supplier once the PO gets approved the same attachment will be visible to the supplier and the way to make it visible is this attachment category so if you make it to supplier then the supplier would be able to see that attachment all right I hope you get the concept but again it will be clear uh, once we proceed ahead okay having said that I'm gonna uh, cancel this you see let's have a look at this business card information information template attached to a smart form in real time before we proceed further to define our new information template and smart form so to see that I will simply navigate from hamburger menu and then go to purchase requisitions and from here I will scroll down and here you see you've got request forms within that you've got a request form called as business cards so you click on that so the request forms are nothing but the smart forms that have been predefined in the system so I'm taking the example of business card because that's pl the place wherein the information template along with associated descriptive flex field has been attached all right so there I am uh, for business card uh, in real time after it has been deployed so if you come down and see you see business card information and you see name title additional details which are getting printed on the business cards there are fields to capture that and where is it coming from basically it is coming from the information template attributes which have been attached to information template later the information template is attached to the smart form so these are nothing but the information template descriptive flex field context and associated segments for information templates okay now having understand that I'm gonna click on done and um, and then I will simply navigate to hamburger menu procurement and then catalogs and then I will go to the task menu and from here I will go to information template so in this example I'm going to create a new information template for capturing um, candidate information so I'm going to click on plus to create a new information template choose a procurement BU so I'm going to leave it US1 business unit and here I would name it as candy date additional information okay and let's say I'm going to leave that same thing for display name as well as instruction text okay then in attribute list I'm gonna choose something like applicant information and then I'm gonna leave the attachment category to supplier because I when the PO gets published to the supplier 
the supplier should be able to view these additional details okay so once I'm done with this I will simply hit the save and close button so this will save the information template as you could see the information template candidate additional information is saved the next step is you've got to create a smart form and attach this information template so go to manage smart forms and here you click on the plus icon to create a new smart form and I'm gonna give the same name over here candidate additional information and let's say or let's suffix it with the uh, form so that there is some difference between the name of information template and smart form okay and you can provide any image URL if you like and then the URL will be taken automatically by the Oracle applications cloud server from the source but I will leave it now I will come down I would say what is the line type so several different line types over here so let's say this uh, this information is required for not only candidate information but also to get a contractor on board so let's say let's rename this as something like contractor additional information I think that would make more sense like this okay so uh, just to reiterate the smart form name now is contractor additional information so I have given the line type of fixed price services and I'm gonna give some description and um, then you can optionally give a category name over here so say category if there is a category called as contractor or maybe consultancy and I will leave the um, currency as USD and then on the right hand side you can see that uh, whether you want user to make or edit this description so I would say let user edit the description and I don't want user to change that currency I don't want user to change the category and uh, amount yes the user can change the amount and I don't want this uh, requisition to be sent to the sourcing for creating a negotiation so I'm gonna uncheck this and then agreement the user can provide an agreement or the supplier information over here okay then here comes the information template which is where you've got to attach the previously defined information template in this button if you hover over it is a select and add button so previously defined information templates would be visible over here so you give the information template starting with candidate additional information which is over here I'm gonna hit the apply button and hit the done button so that would be selected and applied and then I would uh, hit the save and close button so this will create a smart form and within this smart form we have attached the information template which we predefined a while ago hit the save and close button then the next step is this smart form should be assigned to a content zone and uh, in order to do that you go to the task manager and then you look for manage content zone from here And within content zone you see I'm gonna take something um, like this one existing content zone which is for requisitioning okay so I'm gonna pull this one and here I would come down and here you see you've got a place wherein one can attach the smart forms so you come over here and then you click on select and add and here is a place wherein we have got to look for our smart form which is contractor additional information form you select that hit apply and then hit the done button okay so that has been done and then you simply save and close this particular smart form so this is an existing content zone I'm demonstrating but uh, you can create your own content zone if you like now I'm gonna hit the save and close button over here so this content zone has been saved now 
we don't need to do anything else so the smart form has been published I'm going to close all these open forms okay and then I will go to the hamburger menu and go to requisitions uh, workbench over here in purchase requisitions and I would be able to see our smart form by the name of contractor or so it is not appearing over here oh it's appearing it should be somewhere down oh there it is contractor additional information form that's what we have defined so if you click on this hyperlink it's going to open a smart form and as you could see the currency and category name are non-editable user can't change but other and even the negotiation um, check boxes user can't change but other than that user can provide a uh, agreement supplier supplier site and so on so all user um, have to do so requisitioner have to do is provide this information which is again optional and once that has been done then he can add it to the cart and if you come down and see the bottom you see candidate additional information like contact date of birth and summary these are appearing from the information template that's been attached to this smart form so this is how you go ahead and create a smart form by leveraging the concept of information templates I'm going to go back to presentation slide we'll quickly go through the steps that we understood so hold on for a minute all right so there I am as we understood the setup steps we first have gone and logged in within setup and maintenance and then we found the place to define information template descriptive flex field and basically I have predefined the context and associated segments and deployed it in the system so you've got to do that then second step we understood was we've got to create an information template and then to attach the information template descriptive flex field there which we have done it as a part of this demo then we have created a new smart form for capturing additional contractor information and which is where we have attached the previously created information template and once we have created the information template then we attach the information template uh, and associated smart form to the content zone and once it is attached to the content zone you're all set to view the smart form in the requisition home page which we have done it confirmed it it is viewing and uh, we could able to use that to capture additional contractor information so basically these are all the things that you've got to do to create a new smart form by leveraging information template and information descriptive flex field.